Uh, regarding gender and its relationship uh, uh, with entrepreneurship, I would say that, uh, again, researchers that try to, to study this relationship would tell you that there is a lot of inconsistent findings as to whether females have uh, different profiles than male entrepreneurs. There are, there are a few elements that are really uh, uh, consistent all, all over uh, most studies regarding gender. The first one is uh, the issue of self-confidence. Uh, female entrepreneurs are generally, on average, less self-confident than, than male entrepreneurs. And this has a lot of influence uh, in, in terms of their success. Uh, another thing is that uh, female entrepreneurs tend to be much more influenced by their personal situation, their family situation, uh, and, and, and this has direct influence uh, on the day-to-day -day operation of the business, on the uh, strategic decisions that are made with respect to the business. So for example, a female entrepreneur that has uh, little children will uh, uh, take decisions that from a, a standardized uh, profit maximization uh, point of view is not necessarily the most appropriate in terms of cutting off uh, travels or uh, or um, uh, trying not to grow too quickly in order to be more in control of the business. And <clears throat> this kind of decision that probably, uh, on average, we're, we're really generalizing here, most male entrepreneurs uh, tend to make regardless of their personal situation. And this is not necessarily due to uh, 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 an inherent predispositions of females to be more inclined to, uh, to our paying attention to their family situation. A lot of researchers will tell you that this is the result of socialization uh, that is based on uh, a perception of what females and men should have, should, uh, should, uh, how they should behave in society and there, and what we call the gender roles. Uh, uh, and, and they try to, uh, to comply to this uh, socialization and the expectation of the society from them. This is basically what's the main finding that, that, that we could uh, that we'd summarize with respect to research on gender entrepreneurship. What would be the main reasons for which female entrepreneurs are less uh, uh, numerous, uh, uh, b both in, in abstract uh, in, uh, numbers and also pro in proportion to men? Well, it, it will certainly depend on the country, but broadly speaking, uh, we have to uh, take into account the cultural values, the roles that females are supposed to, to take in society, and some people uh, would have found, some researchers have found a systematic discrimination as to, uh, uh, with respect to uh, the access to uh, financial resources. Uh, female entrepreneurs start with a lower legitimacy in general with respect to, the, uh, to their clients, to their employees, uh, etc., to the investors, then male entrepreneurs. But this is also sometimes related to the fact that on average female entrepreneurs are, uh, uh, have backgrounds, educational programs that are less related to technical or business uh, training uh, than to uh, liberal arts uh, type of, of, uh, of degrees, which is that something that is perceived outside, but not necessarily true, as uh, uh, less directly uh, applicable to a business environment. In real fact, it really, it really depends on the type of business that, that, launch, that is launched by the person. But this is something that is uh, quite prevailing uh, worldwide. Uh, as to what governments can do to, 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 to foster entrepreneurship, there are several things that can be done and, and it generally should be adapted to the specificities of each region or country or even locality where uh, governments are trying to implement to foster entrepreneurship but uh, something that is very important uh, and uh, that, that has a specific effect on females is the role of uh, role models the impact of role models on society as uh, as um, 
as examples of entrepreneurs that uh, uh, leave some type of imprint on the youth of today and make them see entrepreneurship as something positive and possible. So uh, promoting role models and, and uh, promoting a better image of entrepreneurs uh, in society is something that is uh, clearly uh, very important. And another thing obviously related to the educational uh, uh, arena, which is something I, I know uh, more specifically, would be to try to instill the entrepreneurial spirit from very, uh, uh, from at a very early age in the educational uh, curriculum. So I would even speak about uh, primary school, uh, when the children hear about uh, potential um, uh, professions that they would have, they could have uh, after graduating, we hear about doctor, lawyer, um, uh, even uh, the driver, but we never hear about an uh, uh, entrepreneur or a uh, businessman or businesswoman, which is something that I think is important and has been proven to be important in, in the way people think about businesses and entrepreneurship in their uh, older age. So that would be something to insist on.